Vatican bashing fest. It just needs to be looked at. Uh, is there any idea how great the wealth of the Vatican is, or is that a secret? Well, it's not a secret. The uh, Vatican will come out with some phony figures every year saying they're worth about uh, $24 million. But, uh, <laughs> the, the, the wealth is unbelievable, and it's, it's uh, what, what we've discovered in, in just suing the Franciscan order um, was that at one address in California, at one little address at one monastery in California, 24 different corporations were registered. Now, you add that up from, from place to place, and there are literally tens of thousands of entities masquerading as independent entities that are all really the Catholic Church. Amazing, Mr. Levy. I, I want to come back in the next segment and get into the uh, Vatican banker getting hung and you know, when you call it the Illuminati, I mean, is that just another name for secret society or mafia? I mean, what well, is Illuminati to you? Illuminati is a secret society, but it's not just a secret society. It's a secret society that uses spiritual warfare. And not just economic, but spiritual warfare as well. You mean they believe that, or, 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 or they use the religion to control people? What are you saying? Well, I, I, I think we, there, there is such a thing as good and evil, and um, as others have said, you know, it, it, we, we look at warfare, and you have political warfare, economic warfare, and there's another dimension, which is spiritual warfare. And some things are done that are just so evil and, and contrary to humanity that it, you'd have to say it, it, it goes beyond mere economics and politics. All right. Well, we're getting a window into somebody who's been suing the Vatican for 10 years. Since 1999, he is Dr. Jonathan Levy, professor at Norwich University in the field of terrorism, of all things. He's been one of the most successful people ever in suing them. We'll come back and find out more. You know, as you look at all these different power structures around the planet, I'm going to talk about this once our guest is gone. They all at the top nexus in with other elites, and I think it's key to see the overall global crime syndicate of these little nation states and these little private corporate systems. The District of Columbia is its own private corporation now. This is how things are done inside the New World Order system. Going back to our guest with the website VaticanBankClaims.com and big news blitz coming up in your calls. VaticanBankClaims.com. Okay, I mean, there's so much. We've got to have you back up in the future to spend the whole hour with us, sir, and take phone calls. But in the limited time today, I mean, it's, there's no doubt the Vatican admits a lot of the Nazi loot went to them. And then you were getting into Serbia and the Croats, who, for those that don't know, they were the puppets for the Nazis uh, and all the stuff there. And then who financed uh, you know, the takeover of Serbia? Uh, you're saying that's the Vatican. Uh, break that down. Well, absolutely. There, there's no question that Croatia received its funding uh, from the Vatican or Vatican financiers in 1990, 1991. And that's where we think a lot of the Nazi loot went to eventually. Um, to break up Yugoslavia, which was, after all, the um, uh, goal of the Germans, of the Vatican, and of the Croatians. And why was that their goal? Well, uh, think about it. Yeah, you know history, Alex. Who killed the uh, Austrian Archduke in uh, 1914 and caused the fall of all the empires? Well, that was the black hand tied in with uh, the Vatican and, and British intelligence, is what I read. Yes, but uh, it was a uh, they blame uh, the Serbs for that, ostensibly. Yes. Yeah, and, yes. and of course that that's why the Serbs have always been on the chopping block there in the Balkans. Um, that's the excuse, at least, and of course the excuse again for breaking up Yugoslavia, turning it into a bunch of uh, mini states. Uh, but but we aim to see where did this money go to and what was it used for. And, and, and to correct you there, no, the Vatican does not admit that it ever took any Nazi gold. They, they, they'll do everything possible but to admit to any kind of wrongdoing. Well, they even say Ratzinger wasn't a Hitler youth, though, so it's kind of getting ridiculous. Oh, well, absolutely. I mean, we, we know, we, we have a eyewitness, thank God, a, 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 the, a U.S. intelligence agent uh, named Bill Gallen, who was there in Rome, 1946-1947, as a young uh, counterintelligence special agent for the U.S. Army, and he investigated this, and he gave four days' worth of testimony in a deposition, verifying everything that I'm telling you today, verifying that a 10-truck convoy went into first to a monastery in Rome where uh, they changed out from British license plates to Vatican ones and drove right in there to uh, St. Peter's Square, claiming they had uh, church property on it, and he 
interviewed and debriefed the, the people involved in that operation. Okay, tell us about, there's so many things to discuss, the famous case of the Vatican banker dying and, 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 and how that ties into things. Right. Um, well, the Vatican Bank, also known as the Institute for Religious Works, um, has been involved in one scandal after another, and, and many scandals that we aren't even aware about be, because they got away with it. Um, the, the Calvi case was uh, fi high finance at its worst. Uh, it involved the largest bank in Italy, Banco Ambrosiano, involved operations in the Bahamas and ultimately in North America. Uh, some people claim it triggered the savings and loan crisis in the 1980s, and it was a uh, purposeful destabilization of Italy's largest bank uh, by a group called the P2, uh, who I think are were Illuminati and one of their many guises, they, the idea being to take over Italy. Um, and it, it caused disruptions worldwide. The, the, the people involved, uh, Sindona and Calvi, uh, both died mysteriously. Uh, Marcinkus went into hiding at Sun City, Arizona. And the, the epicenter of the whole thing was the Vatican. So it's a, sort of like the Dan Brown book. Do you think uh, that the Vatican is at the uh, heart of the European Union? Because I, I'm trying to learn and ferret this out. I know Blair has converted so that he can be head of the EU. That's admitted. I know that uh, the European Union, the, they say that is Roman Catholic, and that they want it to, you know, be the new quote center of a global Europe, according to the British Prime Minister Gordon Brown, and that the Treaty of Rome set up the European Union. And now U.S. Army documents have been declassified. You probably know about this that the Nazis knew they were going to lose in '44, so they put their money into dummy corporations and said, "We will rise again as a European Union." Are you familiar with that? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with that theory, and there is a lot of things to support that. Uh, first of all, some of the symbolism, even even the flag of the European Union and of the Council of Europe is taken from the altar at the Cathedral of Strasbourg. It is those st stars, uh, circular uh, uh, stars. Um, and the, uh, there was a pre-runner, a forerunner to the European Union called the, uh, um, trying to think, Pan-Europa uh, union and uh, it, had a, it was the same flag except with a cross in the middle of it. So, Stay there. Yeah. Let's do five more minutes on the other side with our guest, Dr. Jonathan Levy, VaticanBankClaims.com. You know, I wanted to get Jim Tucker on last hour, but they got him now, so he's come up in about three minutes. He was at Bilderberg. He always learns more in hindsight than he even learns while he's there. So we'll get an update from him and then go to Omid in Sweden, Tex in Texas, Lance in Connecticut, Stephen in Texas, Jonathan in Connecticut. I'll at least get to those, get a few other key news articles. Finishing up with Dr. Jonathan Levy, uh, uh, his lawsuit against the Vatican um, for their activities. Um, you know, I've studied the New World Order power structure, and it just looks like Every major nation in the West, the East, they're all just run by strong men, special interests, and they all just meet together uh, and, you know, are setting up this, you know, uh, a, a world system with less and less freedom. From your research, uh, I mean, are you saying you think the Vatican is the most powerful force in the world, or are you just saying it's run by a mafia, or are there factions in the Vatican? I mean, because you're quite a Vatican expert and have been suing them for 10 years, and you're a professor, you know, that studies these type of things. Uh, I mean, what's your bottom line uh, view on that? No, but bottom line, they ought they ought to drag the books, you know, the account books out of the Vatican and audit them. That that's what they ought to do. And if and if you did that, you'd get to a, a you know, the bottom of a lot of mysteries, you know, and including maybe even what happened to Bernie ba uh, Madoff's billions. Who knows what's in there? Yeah, good old Bernie Madoff. Uh, just another case of that. Um, so where is your suit going? I mean, it's getting a lot of media attention. It's been going on 10 years. Have they exhausted all their legal tricks? Or, uh, are, are, are you going to prevail, or what's happening? Well, we hope we're going to prevail. We're, we're on the sixth amended uh, complaint, which me means we've had to amend the lawsuit six times. Uh, of course, the Vatican has uh, bottomless uh, illegal resources. Uh, right now, the case against the Vatican Bank itself is up again in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. Uh, this time on the issue of immunity, uh, can you sue? Can you even sue the Vatican Bank in the United States? And then the other part of the lawsuit is proceeding uh, slowly, but proceeding, and that's against the Franciscan Order, who were the actual foot soldiers of the uh, church involved in laundering this uh, concentration camp money.
Amazing. Okay, well, uh, Dr. Jonathan Levy, thank you so much for spending time with us. Thank you so much. You bet. Take care. Yeah, we're trying to give you all perspectives here.